I'm not going anywhere. Get out before I throw you out. I like to see you try it. You think I'm gonna allow you to come back into that child's life after you undid the things you did to her? She is my daughter. You can't keep her from me. I went to prison for 12 years for what I did. I'm clean, I'm sober, I got my life together. Is that what you want? A congratulations? That doesn't change the emotional and physical damage that you have caused to that girl. And what you think, changing where you live every few months, every other year, is gonna help it? The only way to fix this is to face it. I'm her mother. Her mother? That's what I said. <laughs> her mother? Exactly. Please sit down and tell me. Sit. And explain to me how a good mother would choose drugs and alcohol over their daughter. A good mother wouldn't. But an addict would. And that's what I was, Gabe. An addict was. See me for who I am now. Wanda, I don't want to see you at all. Same condescending Gabe that drove me to drink in the first place. There you go, continuously bringing somebody else for your mistakes. And you failing to take accountability for your actions. Wanda, just go. I'm not going anywhere. Leave! Right now! I am sick of you! Get out! All right, fine. I'll go. But I'll be back. Believe that. And for the record, Ain't nobody scared of your little goons. What are you doing here, boy? Shouldn't you be out on the field practicing? Hey, Tommy. Tommy, I know you hear me talking to you, son. What are you doing in here? Man, I got kicked off the team, Mr. Whoa, Ray. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think you need to calm down and sit down got kicked off the team, huh? <laughs> Guess they finally found out you're out there selling dope, huh? Oh, don't look at me all surprised. I know what's going on. I know everything. Well, if you know all that, you should know the only reason I'm doing it is to help my grandma. Help your grandma? Tommy, how you gonna help your grandmother locked up in prison? Man, I ain't get locked up, man. And how do you know that? Because I'm careful. Oh, you're careful. <laughs> I remember when there was a time when I thought I was careful, too. You been locked up? Yeah. I'm locked up. Ten years. For selling dope. Just like you. <laughs> you know what? Nearly lost his leg in a prison ride. Tell you, man. Jail, prison. People glorify that kind of stuff, Tommy. But I'm telling you, that's no way for somebody to live. Telling you when to get up, telling you when to go to sleep, telling you when to eat, having you locked down in a cage like an animal. No place to be, no way you want to live your life, never. But you know what? Listen, I'm gonna help you out. Listen, my brother has a car wash. No, now, no offense, Mr. Redman, but um, I can't be seeing that no car wash now. Plus, it's too cold for that anyway, bro. No. It's too cold at a car wash. You can't be seen out there, but you can be seen on the corner selling drugs. Mr. Rand, Instead of making an honest living? It's not like that. Then you tell me what it's like. Mr. Rand, you know what I mean. Oh, I know, I know what you mean. You tell me. What, man? Get it through your head. Mr. Rand, right now, I'm just... I'm just stuck between a rock and a hard place, all right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know what that's like. But you keep on, you're going to be stuck between Big Brutus and his hard place. <laughs> it's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt. Today, we're going to own up to our truths. Some of our truths are so ugly 
They're so ugly that they got us raging inside. Raging to the point where we want to hurt somebody. But today it stops and we're going to own our truths. Carlos, what is your truth? My truth. We all need forgiving. I should have been more of a friend of journey instead of trying to look good in front of people that didn't care anything about me. Kendra. We all were wrong when it came to journey. We did not know that our picking and our making fun of her was going to lead to all this. The truth is, I stay in boys' faces and I act the way I act because I just want attention. I'm insecure within myself, so I try to get attention from other people. That day after school, man, you saved my life. You showed me that no matter how many touchdowns I scored on the field or how many yards I got per game, you showed me that you cared for me for me. Not because of my abilities, not because of my talents, not because of what I could do for you. And you were right. You told me that my grandmother taught me well, and that's why I'm so disappointed in myself, because I know better. And believe it or not, you gave me a father figure that I never had. Wow. So for that, I want to thank you. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> my truth is, I have behind my good grades and my intelligence so that no one knows what goes on at home. I smile at as if I'm so sure of myself, but truth is I'm scared. I'm scared I'll never do nothing in life, be nothing in life. I'm scared I'll forever be the outcast no matter where I go. I'm scared I'll let everybody down who ever believes in me. I'm scared that everything I do, I'll fail at. I'm scared I'm not good enough. So I just sit there doing nothing, always running from opportunity because I'm scared I'll never be able to achieve anything or be anything. And I ran, just like I always ran when Journey needed me. Until that day, she committed suicide. Share your truth, Malena. <laughs> My truth is when I lost my mom, I had nobody. This ain't for me or nobody else in here. This is for you and your wife to figure out. I'm just glad to hear the results. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Mother, it's absolutely right. This is between me and you. No one else. Do you love me, Tanya? Yes. Prove it. What? Go to church with me. Done. Go to counseling with me. Done. Respect me. Done. 
and love my son. Anything. Baby, where you going? I'm sitting here. The best news of my life. You just gonna walk off? You trying to leave? No, you don't have to go anywhere. I'm not leaving. You are. <laughs> Michael, I said yes to counseling. I know I messed up. I knew I was wrong. And I knew I needed to get over that situation with you and Brenda. But I'm here now. Please. What do I have to do? What else? I've already promised you everything, Michael. You have to go. Michael, please. Let's talk about this. Please. I don't really want to talk. Please. What I don't want to talk. Please. Michael, what do you want me to do? You want me to beg you? Please. You can do what you want. Oh my God. What are you... Seriously? You know what? You need to stop. Stop. You need to stop. Michael, stop. Don't do this. Please. Look, stop. Ah! Everybody just get out. I'm 
from this. Here we are. I won't leave you. Together. I'll be with you. I promise. I promise. Everything I'll make you right. Between us is good. I promise. I'm right in this cloud, baby. Ready to fly, but before I take another step, would you catch me if I fall for you? Cause I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. I'm so used to standing. So used to being on my own But this thing is new, babe It feels like I'm losing control I'll take another step If you catch me when I fall for you Cause I You promise to be there Stay by my side Always Whenever I need you Don't let me down No, no If I give you my all Don't let me fall Would you do that for me? Hold me Living in the ghetto can be so rough. My husband and I, we tried our best with our children. We encouraged them to follow their dreams, but somehow or another, our dreams turned into our worst nightmare. Melvin Music turned our lives upside down. And now I have to do what I have to do, but maybe I've gone too far, I don't know, but I will do anything for my family. I'm just hoping that I have the power to rise up from what's about to happen. I'm forever indebted to you. Thank you. You have a good night. Uh, um, hey, I was wondering, I mean, you guys have been getting along so, so well. Thankfully. <laughs> and I know she, she's not going to continue to make it without you being around, and I think it'd be a great, great idea if you continue to come around and see her. I know she would love that. I'd love that. All right. Thank you, Gabe. No problem. All right. Hey, oh, one more thing. Uh, I was wondering, uh, tomorrow we're going to have dinner. Uh, we usually have it around 7 o'clock. And uh, I was hoping maybe you can come and join us. I mean, I think she would like that. Really? Okay. Dinner here? Yeah. 
Okay. But I would also like that too. You know you holding my hand, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's well deserved. You have a good night, Gabe Alexander. Hey, let me get that for you. <laughs> Seven o'clock, right? Seven o'clock. All right. <laughs> Journey. Hey, Journey. Yeah, Dad. Hey, check this out. I have to step out. Yeah, I know you gotta go to work. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm actually gonna run to the grocery store and pick up some groceries. I'm gonna cook tomorrow, and I'm um, gonna invite your mom over. Who? Your mom, Wanda. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. So I'll be right back. All right. All right. I'm living my best life. <laughs> Ain't going back and forth with you. Woo! <laughs> Forgiveness is a powerful tool that loses its power when it's not used. Guilt, shame, and pity loses its power too when it's not used. When my life is not perfect, it is definitely better. The bullying has ended. I have my mother, and in some weird but interesting way, I think my dad is crushing on my mom. <laughs> Love is a powerful force. I finally get it. The greatest love is learning to love myself. No more searching outwardly for what I can find inwardly. I choose love. For love casts out all fear. And so are you. Great, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. How was Journey? She's, she's fine. Good. We're looking forward to her getting back to school next week. <sighs> yeah, that's what I came to talk to you about. Is she coming back sooner? <laughs> no, my child will not be attending this school again. I beg your pardon? Read that. <laughs> Mr. Alexander, I assure you, I did not know about this. And that seems to be the norm with you. <laughs> I mean, you failed my child the same way you failed that kid, Tommy. All this drugs and bullying that's going around, that, that starts with bad leadership. And that bad leadership begins with you, Principal Ellis. Now, I want that girl, Melina, expelled! Now, I get that you're upset you about have your no daughter. Idea. Oh, no, I understand. But that does not give you the right to come into my office and bark orders. Have a seat, Mr. Alexander. I have 500 students in my school. Some of them come from broken homes, abused homes, and no homes. 
And you have the audacity to come up in here and suggest that I have bad leadership and that's the reason they're falling through the cracks? Absolutely. Let me tell you something, Mr. Alexander. What? Leadership starts at home. Every single day I come in here, day in and day out, I care about those kids. I try my absolute best and yes we have some bad teachers but what I can tell you is that here at this school we care about every one of our kids let me ask you something where were you Mr. Alexander when things started going bad didn't you see the signs I was at work oh you were at work so that's why you missed counseling sessions PTO meetings father daughter dances I gotta provide for my child I am a single parent and you gotta provide for your child because we need a roof over their heads. But let me tell you something else. Those kids need nurturing, love, guidance, attention. They need you, Mr. Alexander. So often you come into my school and you, you put all the, all the focus on me and my teachers. But what are you doing at home? No. I'm sorry. No. No, I am. You're right. It's just, that's my baby girl. I understand that. Then tell me, how can kids be so cruel? Oftentimes, the cruelty is a sign for help. You see, Mr. Alexander, hurt people... Hurt, hurt people. people. Now I know you think Ms. Gamble, how are you? I am so excited about your return to school on next Monday. Yeah, the district did really well bringing you out of retirement. Yes! Of course! <laughs> Ms. Gamble? Do you ever call you back? Someone just stumbled into my office. All right, thank you. Um, hi, may I help you? Well, I sure hope so. I'm here to see uh, 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 Principal Ellis. I'm Principal Ellis with two L's. Oh, nice to meet you there, Principal Ellis. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you got a strong handshake there. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry, but who are you? I am Beautician Betty, and I had my license since 1945. That's right, I said 1945. That's an awful long time to have a license, but how can I help you, Beautician Betty? Oh, I guess you have it hard, huh? I'm the new teacher. Uh, the uh, new teacher. Uh, I'm, uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh... I, I didn't get any paperwork on... You're the new teacher? That's right. You better check your paperwork. Check them emails. Oh. Oh, I see. You was blind, but now you see. Ain't God still in the miracle business? Thank you, God. She see my name, God. You're Miss Parker's replacement? Listen here. I ain't got nothing to do with Miss Parker. All I got to say is you better have my check by the first. <laughs> Or you could be riding in a long pink Cadillac hearse. Your family could be dressed in black. They could be at the funeral. Oh, amazing grace. Ah. Ah. Oh, okay, I, we will make sure to have your check by the first. Well, thank you. Um, there's something I should be telling you, though. I don't know if you ever worked in this district before, this particular school. Um, how can I explain this? The kids are different. They're special. Oh, shucks. I finally going to meet somebody just like me. <laughs> oh, man. I a little special there myself. We're going to get along just fine. I sure can't wait to meet these yeah, students. All right. Yes. Okay. In that case, let me show you to your classroom. Oh, God. Thank you. After you. All right. Just I go sure, down the hall here. I sure hope y'all got the heat on because I call in here. I am 
so sorry. Don't stop for me, handsome. Keep on going. I like it. Woman, you almost gave me a heart attack. Oh, I can change this Ooh. job. You know, I can be a nurse. <laughs> Mr. Redden, I am so sorry. Yeah. Beautician Betty's our new drama teacher. New drama teacher? Yes. That's right. <laughs> what happened to Miss Parker? She's gone on to greener pastures. Oh, well, okay. In that case, it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Betty. Uh, okay. Likewise. Likewise. Okay. Uh, Beautician Betty, Mr. Redden is our head custodian here at the school. Oh, mm-hmm. well, yes. he didn't have custody of me any time. No, 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 no. But you had me hang on in there, Lord. And I thank you for how you blessed hope to live her dreams and to be singing and traveling, God. You know, you kept my baby Kim. You got off drugs. And how Tristan, he's growing, God, and so cute. Lord, I thank you for all you're doing. I thank you, Lord, for all you've done. God, you're so on time. You've never failed me. And I thank you, God. I thank you in your name. Amen. Amen. Uh, I gotta step out for a few. I'll be back uh, about 45 minutes, okay? All right. All right. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Alexander. We'll be just fine. <laughs> ah, Joe, right? All right, yes, Dad. Sir. <laughs> oh, Joe. Oh, gosh, Dad. Uh, can I see you for a second? Dad, time? come on. Dad. No, just, just come on. Bring, bring your water and everything. What are you doing? Where am I going? Just, just going to have a conversation. Oh, my oh. gosh. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm just going to talk to him. Why did it open? Uh, uh, listen, I'm the lion in this jungle. Dad. Sir? Dad. Dad. Oh, Dad. 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 Hey. No. Oh. Dad. I mean, he says he wants me to have friends, but when I bring them over here, he just throws them out.